Hello, ladies and jellyfish. Welcome to episode two of Throwback Reviews. And I hope you like that new intro that I just put in because it's going to be the intro for this series. So, yeah. Anyway, for today's episode, we're going to do a throwback review of the Five Nights at Freddy's Curse of Dreadbear plushies. So, with that being said, let's begin. Wow. And we're going to start off with the main guy, Bear himself. Dreadbear. And we're off to a pretty good start because this is hands down the best plushie in this wave. There is nothing wrong with him. He looks really good. I like his goofy grin. I like the eyes, the way they made it. Um, the detail on his left ear is pretty good. The way they made the hat is also pretty interesting. Um, and I like the detail of the bolts on his cheeks. And I like the details on his body. Like these details. They're really good, and I do like him. And uh, this right here is printed, and so is this, but that's not a big deal, to be honest. Overall, this plushie is really good, and he is the best one in this set. So now on to the next plushie. And now on to Jack O'Bonnie. And honestly, this plushie does look pretty good. I mean, sure, between him and Nightmare Bonnie, they both look inconsistent, but this one does look more unique, and it is a step up from Nightmare Bonnie. There is a lot of printing all over him, but I don't mind because it does add a lot of detail. So the printing, it doesn't bother me all that much. The mouth looks okay, I guess. It's the same mouth style as the Twisted ones, where usually there's like felt right over there. And there's like teeth and mouth stuff printed on there. And on the side, it can look off sometimes, but on the front, he looks fine. I I guess the mouth is all right. Uh, it could have been done better, but eh, I'll take it. Overall, this plushie is pretty good, and I really like him. So yeah, another good plushie. And now on to another plushie. And now on to Jacko Chica. And just like Jacko Bonnie, this plushie looks pretty good. Now, just like Jacko Bonnie, she has printing all over her, uh, but like I said earlier, I don't mind because it adds more detail, so the printing isn't a big deal. This plush also uses the Twisted Chica base, but I do think this is Twisted Chica done better uh, because this plushie does look better, so yeah. And the mouth looks a lot better than Twisted Chica's mouth. This looks 10 times better. Also, the colors of Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Chica look fantastic. I like the color scheme they went for. I think it looks pretty neat. Overall, this plushie looks pretty good. And out of the Jackos, this one is my favorite. Um, if only we got Nightmare Chica, though. Maybe someday we will. Uh, anyway, on to another plushie. And now, on to Grim Foxy. Arr! Now, just like the others, he's a good plushie but he is the weakest, and there's a few reasons why. First of all, he doesn't have the upper teeth, even though he has it in the game, but for some reason Funko didn't give him that, which is kind of strange. And his jaw could have been done a lot better, and when you look on him on the side, it doesn't look right, so yeah, it could have been done a lot better. And this issue is minor, but the snout is made out of the scratchy security breach material, uh, but again, it's just a minor issue, because at least the rest isn't like that, so yeah. But despite these issues, he's still a good plushie. They gave him a hook, which is a pretty cool design choice. The material on his hook hand and the legs are the same material as Phantom Foxy, which is pretty cool. And the printing is pretty good. It's a pretty good. Overall, a pretty good plushie. He's the weakest, but he's still good, and I like him. So now on to the next plushie. And now for the last plushie for this throwback review, and it's also the exclusive in the bunch, Captain Foxy. Arr! Again. So yeah, Captain Foxy. Odd character choice, could have been glitch trap, but eh, I like him. He's a good plushie. I mean, it is odd that Funko decided to use the Rockstar Foxy base for this plushie, and not the FNAF 1 Foxy base, because between this plushie and FNAF 1 Foxy, they kind of look inconsistent. And because this plushie uses the Rockstar Foxy base, 
The tuff of fur is kind of inaccurate because it's supposed to be two pieces of fur, not one. So yeah, that's kind of inaccurate. But despite that issue, he's still pretty good. And also they got his ear color and his eyebrow color right, which is pretty nice. And as for his pirate outfit, it's just all printed stuff, but I don't mind. It does add some detail. And his pirate hat is also just a flat piece of felt with some printing, um, but I guess it looks fine that way. And just like Grim Foxy, they gave him a hook, which again is a pretty cool design choice. And the material on his hands and legs are also Phantom Foxy's material, which is pretty neat. Overall, weird character choice, but he's still a good plushie. And that, my friends, was the throwback review of the Curse of Dreadbear plushies. So yeah, that's it for this review. And I can't wait to get the new wave that is already out, and the exclusives too. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.